Tweet number five. <laughs> wow, I'm glad I went into that whole tangent because this is asking for the molar mass of ammonium carbonate. Okay, so first to solve this question, we actually need to figure out what ammonium carbonate is. And this one does actually require not just some, but complete memorization. Because ammonium is something you have to memorize as a molecule, and carbonate is also another type of ion you have to memorize as well. So, split it in half, an ammonium ion, okay? Let's first remember what ammonia is, okay? Ammonia is NH3. Ammonium, okay? is an ammonia with an extra proton so an extra hydrogen without any electrons flies in making it have a positive charge so we have nh4 plus this right here is ammonium carbonate okay we have to break it down by its name we have carbon and we have eight as an ate okay so this one, as I said, you kind of have to memorize. Um, so we have carbon, okay? And the eight, because instead of it saying carbonide or something like that, um, or carbide, depending on how um, it's done, um, the any of eight implies that there's oxygens attached to it, okay? And how many oxygens? This part you have to memorize, okay? But I know that carbon eight has three oxygen is attached to it and it also has a minus two charge okay so that will be the carbonate ion all right and also the cool thing is that if you calculate like their oxidation number um carbon will serve as a plus or oh, actually we don't do that first oxygen typically always likes to have a minus two oxidation number so this would be minus six in total carbon is going to have that positive four based on periodic table so we have plus four minus six and in total we have minus two which is the negative two charge that's just a way of confirming that it is the eight version because as you notice for all of the eights like sulfate carbonate nitrate you will see that the charge is actually a reflection of their oxidation numbers typically when they're actually the eight form and then the eights um, that's when you subtract one oxygen but still the same charge I'm not going to get too much into that, only because it's asking for carbonate. So with that being said, we have one positive charge, two negative charge. To balance it out, you need to multiply the ammonium by two. So you can have two positive charges. So now the formula would be NH4, two, and then CO3. This is a molecular structure for ammonium carbonate. Now that we have that, we can actually calculate the molar mass by adding up the constituents. Remember how I said molar mass is the same thing as atomic mass? Molar mass typically is an addition of atomic masses to get the molar mass. Sometimes molar mass can be the same as atomic mass if you have just one thing. For example, molar mass, atomic mass, of silver would be the same because it's just one silver atom. So let's see how we break this down. We will do that by this two subscripts here. We multiply both the nitrogen and the hydrogen. So we actually have two nitrogen, okay, plus eight hydrogen, okay. Then we have just one carbon and three oxygens okay and we go to the periodic table to get all the values we need so we have nitrogen is 14.007 hydrogen is 1.008 carbon is 12.00 oops 12.011 and oxygen is 615.999 then we make these equal whatever math we need so two times 14.007 that's 28.014 eight times 
8.064 card moves stay the same and 3 times 15.999 we have 47.997 so these four are all going to be added together okay and now plus the next and we get 96.086 grams per mole. And this right here would be your molar mass of ammonium carbonate. Let's see how we did. Yep, we got that NH42CO3. And then we're going to add it together. Yep, and they get 96.11. So theirs is different because. Um, as I've said this in other videos, um, depending on your periodic table and how they round there, and that's the one you want to use. So you might even get a different answer from me, but you always want to make sure that you're referring to the periodic table given to you by your instructor, because if they're really retentive on you know having the exact value, you can only get that exact value by using the numbers that they gave to you. Okay, so I would advise not looking up the numbers online if you've already been given a periodic table. If you have not been given a periodic table, then go with online, but just make sure you're always referring to the same periodic table just to keep your answers consistent. So with that being said, moving on to question six. Now this